this is Isabel Marin. My first picture is of um, my siblings and my cousins. And the uh, caption is traditional American apparel, complete with mustache. So Santa Ana is a city that doesn't exactly fit in with the world famous Orange County. We're not exactly the richest and our streets aren't paved with gold, but it's home. People fear us without getting to know us. Santa Ana has a charm that people overlook. People seem to focus on the negative aspects and ignore all the culture and beauty of Santa Ana. Growing up, and even to this day, I still love going to the art walk on Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, and watching the Mexican Independence Day Parade. Some of the most notable things here are our art walk, college, and the oddly native green parrots you might see soaring across the sky. So the second picture is of the green parrots. And um, I remember going to middle school and a teacher t once told us that teachers from other districts felt sorry for her for having to put up with all the gangsters around here. Luckily, my teacher was proud enough to defend us, saying that all of her students were wonderful and that, our, that other teachers couldn't be more wrong. Third picture of this is a assigned Santa Ana College. When it came to picking high schools, it was like picking between ghetto schools. People assume that the education here is poor, but in reality, Santa Ana happens to be the home to the second best public school in Orange County, Middle College High School. I know countless people who get into universities such as USC, Howard, Brown, Yale, not to mention everyone who gets into Cal States and UCs. In my own graduating class, 100% of the class were accepted and planned to attend a college or university after high school. Some with grants and scholarships help along the way. That percentage sounds pretty good for a public school in the ghetto. Students in Santa Ana definitely have potential, we just need to unleash it. Um, growing up in Santa Ana isn't as bad as it seems. Um, or maybe I'm just one of the lucky ones who never got to see the violence firsthand. Even though I never saw the violence, I would always see the after effects of gang violence and shootings. Throughout your town, you can see flowers and candles set up in re remembrance of the boys caught up in the violence. Although these deaths might not make it into the news, I think it's more important to know how the community cares and maintains the shrine set up to remember them. The picture below is not of someone who was involved with gangs, just a person in the wrong place at the wrong time. The person happened to be one of my best friends. Shrines similar to this are set up all around town. I use them as an example for all the love and care people have for their loved ones. Because God knows I miss them. Last picture is of the shrine set up for my friend Miles. Caption is, I love you, Miles. Thank you.